In this Dragonfly training video, we're looking at a special application of objects analysis. This is a way to answer the question of how close are certain objects to another particular object. In this case, we have a grayscale image here, and we have two different regions of interest, one for this big grain and one for all of the small grains. What we'll do is we'll ask the question of what is the shortest distance between each of the small grains and the surface of the big grain. To start, what we're going to do is we're going to take the big grain and we're going to ask Dragonfly to compute a distance map. This distance map encodes a new image. If you look at the image, what you'll see are low intensity pixels, these that are mostly black, that are near the surface of the green, high intensity pixels that are far away, the high intensity bright white pixels. So this is an image where the intensity is a measure of how close it is to the surface of the green object. That's what it means when you compute a distance map from a region of interest like the big grain. Now what we'll do is we'll take all of our small grains and we'll start a new connectivity multiroy analysis. When we go to the connectivity multiroy analysis, we're able to do certain measurements. So for example, we have the volume computed on all of the grains. When we go to the measurements or statistical properties, we see that we can compute other measurements. So we can take the grayscale image and compute, for example, the mean intensity. We see the mean intensity as a new column. What we can actually do is we can ask for the measurement on the distance map. And if we ask for the minimum intensity on the distance map, then what we are doing is for each blue grain, we are asking what is its minimum intensity inside that distance map, therefore what is its shortest distance to the surface, surface of the green grain. So if we look at this column and now we decide to look at minimum intensity, now what we can do is turn on 3D rendering for this. Let's turn this off. And what we have here is we have this coloring. We'll go ahead and set a useful lookup table. So we'll use this, for example. And now, all of our individual grains are colored by minimum intensity. You could color by the intensity of the grain itself, but instead we're choosing to color by the intensity of the distance map. And so that is a spatial encoding of how far each grain is from the surface of the green map. And of course, it's in the table as well. So you can see that some of these are uh, quite large distances. Actually, they're all quite small because I think this is being expressed in meters. And some are quite small distances. So that's a way you can use objects analysis in combination with a distance map to compute the shortest distance to any arbitrary object, such as this large green grain. Thank you for watching this Dragonfly training video.